It's so wide! And cold. <sighs> it sure does get dark fast here. Jean. Yes, sir. This is it. The South Pole. <gasps> oh. You've arrived. Ha <laughs> ha! This is incredible! I'm standing right on the South Pole! Ha! I have done it! But Captain Nemo is the person who brought you here, Sean. Oh, that's true. I didn't get here on my own. No, you didn't, Sean. We are here with the help of the Nautilus and the people of Atlantis. No man in all of history has ever set foot on this place. But in the next century, man will learn to break through the ice and reach this point by his own power. I put my faith in the inexorable will of mankind. <sighs> what is that? An aurora. And what's that? Divine. In scientific terms, electrons and protons from the sun strike Earth's atmosphere and create this phenomenon. Of course. Scientific terms describe beauty quite poorly. A tear? It can't be. He believes in you and has entrusted the future to you. Begin. Sir, I shall begin with the economic distribution report. Due to the commercial disruption operation, we have gained control of 80% of the world's trade in wool and other key products. Armament exports are progressing smoothly. Anticipated profits will meet 3% of our budget. Our new Atlantis operation has strengthened its foothold in the banking sector. It now controls 1.5% of the world's currencies. In the military sector, the final rigging on our second aerial battleship is complete. Ahead of schedule, I might add. Lord Gargoyle, our fleet will be expanded by the addition of seven new garfish. Expansion to be complete within the week. Sir, construction has begun on the second burner for the Tower of Babel. And what of the Nautilus? Lord Gargoyle, the Nautilus is believed to be sunk. Though we have no physical evidence. We have no physical evidence? Well, knowing Nemo as well as I do, I am sure he is in hiding somewhere trying to find out about us. Captain Nemo. How much longer do you intend to keep those children aboard the Nautilus? I know that Gargoyle is after Nadia, and it's safer for her on board, but we don't know if this ship will be sunk tomorrow. Hmm. I am certain you don't want her to die with you. Approaching ship identified as Garfish-class submarine. Captain Nemo, please report to the bridge immediately. I'll be right there. Answer me, Captain! All hands to battle stations, First Officer. Aye. Sir! I count 20 enemy vessels! It looks like we're surrounded on all sides, sir. Sir, maximum depth here is only 300 meters. Captain, we have the Kemodek Trench at 10 o'clock. All ahead full! Head straight for the Kemodek Trench! Aye, aye. The Nautilus is sailing into the Kermadec Trench, just as we planned. The mouse is racing into the trap. Your final hour has arrived, Nemo. Order all hands to battle stations! Aye! All hands, report to battle stations! All hands, prepare for submarine warfare! All non-combatants, report to Block 3 shelter! This is bad. We're in for trouble. You know? The tension in the air feels stronger now. Yes, not only that, we're being hit by a greater number of sonar pings than before. Endgame. He 
is attacking with his full arsenal. Target has entered the fourth sector. The ignorant moth flits closer to the flame, sir. This is the conclusion of its final voyage. Two kilometers to reach the Kermodec Trench. Send out a pulse. Aye, aye, sir. Captain Nemo, the enemy fleet has deployed six Scarfish submarine battleships from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Six of them versus us? This is gonna be a tough one. What's worse is that we can be sure that there are more on our flank and beyond our sonar. This is what you would call a tight pinch, sir. Target has entered the third sector. Proceed with Operation D2. Understood. As you command. Garfish 6 through 12, proceed with Operation D2. They're flooding their torpedo tubes! Distance 2.2 kilometers! Torpedoes away! 24 closing at 2 kilometers! They're creating a torpedo storm. 60 seconds until impact, sir. Launch battle counter-strike. Aye, aye, sir. No good! They've broken through the barrier! Bring all engines to full, descend and evade! Twenty seconds to impact, Captain. Scrape our belly on the seafloor, helmsman. Ten, sir! Four passed over us, sir. There's still one more. That was a good plan, Captain. If we were any higher, we'd be sleeping with the fishes. Damage report. Engines are secure. There's a small leak in the stern. What is the status of the garfish? We have six approaching from the bow and four approaching at two o'clock. Relative velocity is approximately eight knots. All right, let's go, first officer. Give every tube a full load of missiles and depth charges and begin flooding the tubes. Torpedo tubes are now flooding, sir. Deploy depth charges to starboard side, then take a 10 count and fire missiles at secondary target. Aye, aye. Tubes are fully loaded. Four tubes ready for initial volley. Targeting error correction is complete. Fire! Charges have been launched. I confirm multiple explosions, total of six. That leaves four more. Four explosions confirmed, Captain. No further readings. All identified garfish have been thoroughly destroyed. They sent ten after us this time. The neo Atlanteans are certainly getting bolder. First officer, how much of our offensive weaponry is still intact? We are at 30%. Remaining munitions loading now. Sonar, where are the others? I'm detecting five more, but it's extremely odd. They're all leaving the area. They must be folding back to attack positions. I doubt it. They're all moving out of their firing range, ma'am. Are they leaving us behind? Not very likely. Stay alert for an attack from the surface. I... Prepare for attack. This one from above. The Nautilus has been sighted. It is within firing range. You have my gratitude, Nemo, for volunteering for my experiment. Begin Operation CNET. 
Understood. Proceeding to phase two. Prepare the CNET beam gun. 